Spidey 1958, and welcome to my Let's Play The the Beast Beyond Episode 38, I believe. Let me check. Yep, that's right. Episode 38 it is. So, we built a room for the Extreme Reactor, and I want to get... I added another drive to put my uh, fluid drives in, and added program my machine to make 4K, so I'm going to go ahead and get another 4K going here. And these things work really fast with all those accelerators in them now, so that works well. Okay. And I've got some other stuff I'll show you that made. Now, if I remember last time, I was going to build a couple monitors. I wanted to build the crafting monitor and the fluid grid. So fluid grid, I need a bucket, an advanced, and a grid. I think I made the grids. Yep. So I need a advanced. And a bucket. And apparently I never taught it to make buckets. Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw you and you and you in there. That will make my fluid grid. And then I wanted to make a crafting monitor, which is much easier to build. So I need a machine. And I need an improved. I need one more quartz enriched. Quartz may become an issue. I'm down to 255. I probably am going to have to go back soon and make some more. Okay, so now we should be able to make our crafting monitor. Okay, now I just have to figure where the heck I'm going to put these things. I think we'll put the fluid monitor there. I think we'll put the crafting monitor there. So nothing's crafting at the moment. I thought this was supposed to be a fluid monitor. Oh, I put the wrong thing there, didn't I? Because I didn't actually build this yet. No, I built that. This is what I need. There we are. So this will monitor our fluids, which we will put in a second separate thing. And you can go back in there. Okay. So I've got that part done. Our 4K should be done here. Okay. That should take care of that issue. So now, I think, let's go look at the room. I want to see, do some calculations. See if I made it big enough. Because I think I want to do a six by six. So my room's probably not wide enough. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six. I did indeed make it an odd number. So I might want to expand the wall out, but then it won't be centered. And I got plenty of depth for it. So we may have to live with it not being centered. Because if I make it 5 by 5, 5 by 5, I basically can only get one core in there, I think. Yeah. Let me think here for a minute. 5 by 5, 1, 2, yep, I can only get one core in. 6 by 6. No, 6 by 6 I can't get. So let's do a 7 by 7. Hopefully we have the resources to do one that big. So 7 by 7. So that'd be 5 by 5 interior. 1, 2, 3, 4, Yep, that should, I think that will work, I think. So 7 by 7 is, our base is going to be, uh, brain's not working, um, So we're going to need these guys. Which I think I actually programmed in already. Yep, already programmed that in. So I'm going to need 7x7 seven seven is 42.49. So we're going to need at least 49 blocks to begin with. So let's order a stack. Okay, there's the base of our reactor. Assuming I take it up to the ceiling. That's one, two, three, four.
Okay. Let's go get another stack of this. Let's get two more stacks. Actually, we need to build a couple other things, too. So that's five tall. Okay. So we're going to need... Well, let's first of all go ahead and order two stacks of reactor this is costing me a lot of gold okay so I'm going to need four control rods And I'm going to need 12 reactor fuel rods. And I'm going to need a reactor controller. And power cap. One of you, I think you are the same recipe, aren't you? Oh, no, oh, that's coolant. We don't need a coolant. I think that should be everything we need for the moment. Let's grab our blocks here that we have. Probably need more of those, but we'll start with that. And we need, see if I did this right, you, you, whoops, no, that's not right. Okay, so, we need you. You, you, and you. Is that right? That's pretty much right. So we're going to go ahead and put our reactor control blocks in there. whole bunch of blocks of graphite because that's what I'm going to use for my coolant is going to be graphite blocks. Not the best, but cheaper than iron since I can make it almost unlimited. unlimited. I made a bunch of graphite in advance. I will probably need to make more. That should be enough for it to start. Graphite there, 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 there. 
think that's every place we want. There. There. Okay, then we need our reactor fuel columns. These seem to emit light. At least can't be emitting light. There must be something just. I did that wrong. Oh no, I haven't done this one. Okay, and then we'll put graphite in front of those. some more of this. Not a whole lot more. Because if I put down the stuff I'm going to put down here on the bottom, on this side, you here, so I'm going to need six more blocks of it. I don't know, we'll test it once the reactor is going, whether or not I need to put blocks in those extra spaces. Because we certainly can do that. Okay, so there's our reactor. So let's go get some fuel for it. This one will make an out. This one will make our in. Okay, so it's fully fueled. All inject waste. Activate reactor. I think this should make somewhere close to five. Uh, looks like about four is what it's making. So let's go ahead and shut it off. And 
let's see if putting more blocks in here makes a difference. Not quite enough blocks. Oh, no, it looks like I am going to have enough blocks. Okay, let's turn Mr. Reactor back on. last time it was about 4.6 something looks like it doesn't really make a difference no it says we're at 413 percent efficiency Looks like about the same amount, so you don't have to have it full. So the next thing we need to go do is make a power tap. Now we do have a problem. And did our main energy system here? Only can take in 4,000, I think. Because it's only 4... Nope, it can only take in 4,000. So we either make it bigger. Which we could expand it out this way. Yeah, let's go ahead and make it bigger. capacitors do we need? Basic capacitor, we'll need 16 of them. We should be able to go over here now and monitor them. They build fast enough that it doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, the next thing we want is, what's this called? A flex point. No, we don't want a flex point, we want the out one, which is the flex plug.
unfortunately that covers our infinite water source there. But now we can do 8,000 in. And it's actually taking in 6,000 because it's getting it from our other sources. So let's go down here. Doo -doo -doo. Now that's full. Let's go ahead and put our flux plug on here. Which did connect. So we should see it draining a power. Okay, now we should have enough power that we can turn on our mining system and let it run. Okay, and uh, what else do we need here? I need an importer and an exporter. I need one of you and then we need some cable and I should have Yep. So we probably want it to come up through here. one there. Probably don't need it, but just in case. Okay. We do need to break this one. Okay, let's get our floor stuff back here. And get our fancy wall covering back here. Okay, then we need which one of these is which. That's the importer, that's the exporter. So we're going to put the importer here and the exporter here. And we're going to have the exporter export Yellium, which I taught at the auto process. So. I will show you here. So this should yep, fill up automatically. So that will keep our thing full. It's happily moving along. So that should definitely increase our power dramatically. I just don't know if I can, if we, how long we can feed it because they upped how much um, fuel those things consume. 
Okay, so you can go in there and you, and you and you, and you and you. Okay, so what I basically did is I added a recipe here to make yellium dust. If I run yellium ore from here, I get like two with occasionally an extra one and a little of, what is it, lutanium or whatever it is. And then I have this pro added here recipe to basically smelt that into ingots. Because I also added graphite here automatically and glass, so. But we should now be keeping our power even in here. Yep. We might even be able to up how much power our machine is using at the other end. So, But I think it's past the wrapping up point. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you disliked the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.